The boycott, divestments and sanctions movement against Israel is pushing to boycott Israeli industrial zones in the West Bank. But there are thousands of Palestinians employed at these parks working side by side with Israelis. And now Israel is claiming a boycott could end up hurting peace instead of helping. So we decided to get an inside look at how these development centers are actually impacting the lives of Palestinians and Israelis alike. אני מול המצלמה גם אומר, לא מתפייש מזה, רוצים לחיות, לא רוצים מלחמות יותר מזה. ופה זה סמל של דו-קיום, את האמת, ממש זה סמל של דו-קיום. This is Mujahid Ahmed. He's a Palestinian from the West Bank town of Azun Atma, but he works for an Israeli company in the Aerial Industrial Park, one of 16 Israeli development centers built in the West Bank. And while these work zones have long been a source of great controversy, Mujahid is proud to say he works in one side by side with Israelis. <laughs> Israel has set up over a dozen industrial zones beyond the Green Line. Home to around 1,000 businesses, these zones have become a hub of employment for about 36,000 Palestinians, who face a 27% unemployment rate in the Palestinian economy, along with significantly lower salaries and benefits. פה נותנים פי שלוש ממוצע ברשות הפלסטינית, נותנים את כל הזכויות, יותר טוב מהרשות הפלסטינית. Mujahid works for Ahva, which is the largest producer of tahini and halva in all of Israel. The company employs 250 people, 150 of which are Palestinian. But the company faces backlash from the BDS movement because it's located in the West Bank. BDS supporters believe that these industrial zones are part of the settlement enterprise. As a result, Brussels Airlines even stopped buying from Ahva. Yoav Malach is Ahva's operation manager and he says boycotts like this end up having the opposite effect on his Palestinian employees. Basically, we will uh, produce less products and uh, the result of that is that we will hire less employees. Most of them are Palestinians. Last year, hundreds of Palestinian workers lost their jobs after their employer SodaStream was targeted by the international boycott movement and was forced to move from the West Bank to Israel. So why has Palestinian leadership continued to support the boycott movement? Yehuda Cohen, the CEO of the Lipsky factory in the Barkhan Industrial Zone, says it all comes down to politics. The leader of the Palestinian, then it's not important for them at all if the people will lose work or not lose work. Ideology. In practice, the best thing for Israelis and Palestinians who, oh, by the way, happen to be neighbors living side by side, is to build an economy where everyone is cross-pollinating and building together. The industry that we can build together is going to be a lot stronger and benefit all of the populations. Israeli industrial zones in the West Bank pump about $300 million into the Palestinian economy through salaries. But boycott supporters claim the parks undermine a future Palestinian state since they're built on occupied Palestinian land and prevent the Palestinian economy from flourishing on its own. The Israeli government vehemently denies that its industrial zones are illegal and that their status should be determined in peace talks with the Palestinians. But for the Palestinians and Israelis working side by side in these zones, they're just tired of the politics. <laughs>